Bali, a tiny and unique Hindu enclave amongst the 17,000 islands of the vast archipelago of Indonesia. Indonesia is the fourth largest country on earth with the largest Muslim population in the world. Bali, however, is the only Hindu island and one of the things that makes Bali so unique are the multiple daily ceremonies all over the island, at times from early in the morning to late at night for days on end. The high priest of Vatupadanda plays a pivotal role in these ceremonies and therefore in the life of every Balinese person. So what exactly does a high priest of Bali do and what is his or her role in Balinese society? The word Padanda comes from Danda, holy stick, the symbol of guiding. Padandas have the ultimate and highest social standing and are treated and respected like gods. A Ratu Padanda is for the Balinese superior to all living men. A Padanda has all the keys to the magic formulas and he has the power to unlock the secret mantras that heal and transform and bring the right and good energy into people's lives. In Bali there are about 500 Ratu Padandas, of which a fair amount are women. Ratu Padandas are all of Brahmanic descent and lineage. In Balinese Hinduism, there is three kinds of Padanda. It's called the Padanda Shiva, Padanda Buddha and Padanda Pujanga. It's called the three Sadaka. So, the one who become Padanda, they should learn these two kinds of knowledge. First, they should learn about the Magama Urip, and the second, they should learn about the Magama Pati. Because when they become Padanda, they will be the Guru Loka. Guru is mean the teacher, the leader, and Loka is mean the world. So, to become a Guru Loka, they should understand about the material thing, the spiritual thing. That's why they should learn the Magama Urip and the Magama Pati. The Padanda's path of learning is long. Born into a Brahmin family, the extensive and various rituals of ceremony will be familiar to them virtually from birth. When Padanda doing the yoga or the spiritual practicing, there is three kind of things that they use for the tool. First, they will use the Yantra, the spirit symbol. They use also the Tantra, the knowledge, the spiritual knowledge, and Mantra, the spiritual uh, word. Yantra, Tantra, and Mantra. They will do by, uh, they, they will do yoga by this three part. And they also will using the Upakarana. Upakarana is the tool to practicing the Yantra, Tantra, and Mantra. They're using the fire element as a symbol, uh, Dipa or Dupa also, Isen sticks. They're also using the water, the holy water. They put on the Shiva Amba. Shiva is mean the Shiva itself. Amba is mean the water. So the water element they put on the Shiva Amba and the sound element. They put, they're using the sound element when they do the Mantra. They also represent the sound element by the sound of the gunta. So the element of fire, element of water, element of sound. Flowers is very important part of the upakarana because the flowers is the symbol of offering. The most important flower it is the padma, kamala or the lotus. But if we cannot find the lotus, the padanda will using the kalpika. Uh, Kalpika is created by uh, three parts, the leaf, the flowers, and the flowers should be the color of red, white, or yellow, because the Kalpika is also as a symbol of the Trimurti, the three highest gods for the Balinese people. It's called the Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. Uh, Brahma is symbolized by the red flowers. Vishnu is symbolized by the leaf of the hibiscus maybe or the Iswara is represents by the white or the yellow flowers so they make the Kalpika is as represents of the Trimurti 
the Brahma, Wisnu, and Iswara. Brahma, Wisnu, Yanama, Om Sada Siva, Yanama, Om Adhudra, Yanama. There is daily ceremony. It's called the Surya Sevana. Every morning they will wake up. They will pray for the sun, blessing the earth, blessing the universe, and hoping there is a good energy and blessing with also positive energy. And Padana also they will do a ceremony for human to reduce the negative energy. It's called the Maluka or the water cleansing. They use element water. Water is the most important element that used by Padanda. That's why Balinese Hinduism also it says as the Agama Tirtha or the religions of the water. Because in every ceremony, in every yoga, they use the Tirtha or the holy water. The holy water is created by water. They put energy, they put the mantra, they put the tantra, they put the focus of mind. They also doing the mantra, the japa, the yantra to create the holy water. This holy water will bring a good energy, will cleans all of the negative energy for not only for the people but also for the earth for the universe that is the most important uh, practicing of the padanda they will blessing the earth the human with the positive energy so in summary a padanda not only leads the ceremony he also leads and guides the life of the balinese people he teaches them the religion and the meaning of life and the time of death he leads the spirit to freedom. With the holy water, mantra and mudras, the bell or gunta and the fire, the Padanda channels in a trance-like state the gods and the ancestor spirit and their blessings to the people. A Padanda is the impersonification of Shiva or Buddha and the Padanda is also the highest mountain, Mount Agung. And Mount Agung is for the Balinese, the center of the universe. And thus, the Padanda is the most important person in Balinese society. <laughs>